Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihid Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve advanced problems on, on minimization problem under the chapter assignment model using Hungarian method. Okay, now from our video series point of view, this is our fourth problem. So let us see how to solve this particular sum. Okay, now let us see how to solve this particular sum. We'll read the question once. Uh, the question states that given the following data, find the least cost allocation of machines to job. Now here they are again asked to find the least cost, meaning it is a minimization problem sum. They have given us the jobs and they have given us the machine. Always first check whether the sum is a balanced sum or a unbalanced sum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 jobs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 machines. So it is a balanced question. So not an issue. Okay. Now in order to solve sum based on minimization your step number one will always be we need to find row minimization now in order to find row minimization we'll have to create you know a similar table as given in the question and we'll have to find the new values of row minimization to chalo we'll make We'll make the columns okay. So here we have uh, jobs. So in our job names are J1, J2, J3, J4, and J5. And we have machines named as M1, M2, M3 m4 and m5 now in order to solve or find the values of row minimization the rule is from each row okay we have to pick up the least value and subtract that value from subsequent all the values of the same row so for example in row 1 that is m1 the minimum value is 10 so all the values may say we'll have to minus the value of 10 so the values will be 12 minus 10 which is 2, 10 minus 10 0, 14 minus 10 4, 13 minus 10 3 and 16 minus 10 6. Okay. In the same way we will have to solve for the second row. So the lowest value is 12. So 14 minus 12 is 2, 17 minus 12 is 5, 12 minus 12 is 0, 16 minus 12 is 4. 15 minus 12 3 in m3 the lowest value is 9 so 13 minus 9 is 4 10 minus 9 1 9 minus 9 0 11 minus 9 we have 2 and 14 minus 9 will be 5 similarly in m4 the lowest value is 8 so 12 minus 8 is 4 8 minus 8 0 11 minus 8 3 14 minus 8 6 uh, 10 minus 8 2 in the last row the lowest value is 9 so 9 minus 9 0 we have 2 3 1 and 7 so that's our step number one we need to find row minimization step number two we'll have to find the value of column minimization Okay, now to find the value of column minimization, now we have to make the column min minimization of the table of row minimization that we have got. So again, we will create, you know, a similar kind of a structure where we have the jobs. Okay, we have the jobs and the machines. So now again for the jobs, we will note down the values of jobs. So we have J1, J2, J3, J4 and J5. For machines, we have machine 1, machine 2, machine 3, machine 4 and machine 5. Now column minimization meaning we will have to go column wise and do the same thing that we have done in the row part. But now from the column point of view, so now from the column, the lowest value is 0 from the row minimization values. Okay, we'll have to uh, create the column. 
so the lowest value is zero so if the lowest value is zero so it won't make much difference to the other value so the values will be two because two minus uh, in all the value minus zero will give you the same values so four four zero in the second column the lowest value is again zero so again it won't make difference to other values so we'll note it as it is in the third again zero is the lowest value won't affect all other values so four zero zero three three in j4 the lowest value is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 4 minus 1 is 3 2 minus 1 is 1 6 minus 1 is 5 and 1 minus 1 is 0 in the last the lowest value is 2 6 minus 2 is 4 3 minus 2 is 1 5 minus 2 is 3 2 minus 2 is 0 and 7 minus 2 is 5 okay so we have created and found the row minimization thereafter column minimization after getting the value of column minimization now the next step is we need to start assigning the values uh, towards zero from each rows which has only one zero and thereafter we have to go and do the same thing column wise so now remember go row wise we'll go row wise okay and try finding those rows which has only one zero and we will assign that particular zero with a square so now in the first row we can see there's only one zero so we assign that particular zero now remember once you have assigned a row all the corresponding column values where zero is are appearing will get crossed out so in this row when we are you know when we mark this row the corresponding column where there was one zero we cross it out okay now in the second row there is one zero so we assign that the moment i assign that all other corresponding zeros gets crossed out in the third now there is no zeros available in the fourth i can see one zero because one is already crossed out so this is the only one which is available we assign it and in the fifth now there are two so we cannot go row wise okay so now we'll have to so the, all the rows are done so now we start the column right in the first column i can see one zero we assign that the moment we assign that column all other corresponding rows zeros will get crossed out in the second column there's already been assigned third already assigned fourth there is none fifth already assigned now this is the most important step now let us try to match the number of assigned values with the matrix size okay here the assigned values 1 2 3 and 4 there are four assigned values and the matrix size if you look carefully it is a 5 by 5 matrix so here the solution is not optimum therefore the solution is not optimal Okay, so now whenever we come to a you know, state when the solution is not optimal, remember this is an advanced kind of sum of minimization. When you come to that particular position when it is not optimal, we'll have to create, number three, a modified matrix. Now remember a modified matrix, okay, again we'll have to create a kind of a table. So it will again have, you know, the jobs and machine ka column. So we will again create a structure where you have all the jobs and all the machines ka values so now modified uh, matrix is nothing but where we are trying to create a new uh, matrix whereby we need to you know where we are trying to make the solution optimal so again i'll write here j1 j2 j3 j4 j5 m1 m2 m3 m4 and m5 now in order to get the values from it we'll have to again go back to the previous uh, table and now we'll have to do something called as you know crossing of lines now let us see how we do that in order to cross out some lines okay we'll have to first figure out or find out that row which does not have any zeros or any assigned zeros so if you look here, the first one has, second one has, fourth and fifth, the third doesn't have any assigned zero, but there is one zero which is available. 
okay the moment we see that we'll have to draw a line passing through a column okay we'll have to call in whatever the corresponding column draw a line passing through that so that's the first crossing of line after that after that row wise pick out those particular rows which has multiple number of zeros okay now if you look carefully the row fourth and row fifth both have two two zeros so we will do one thing we'll have to cross those rows now okay which has multiple zero cross those zeros you know you know mark a line towards it so we are going to cross it one and this also the fourth one also has around two zeros so we cross that after that whichever row has a you know possibility of zero start cancelling that so the first row has one zero so we cancel them out okay so here we have done we are done with the uh, you know crossing of the lines now the rule is once the lines have been crossed out and when the solution is not optimal when we need to find the modified matrix remember the values which haven't been yet crossed out okay which are unmarked basically for example 2 5 3 1 3 1 1 4 these values are not been marked out those all values may say you have to select one value which is the most least okay so you have to select the least value so if you can see carefully one is the least value among the unmarked so now the rule remember the rule very carefully once you get the you know the value the least value that least value will get subtracted from all the unmarked values okay number one second wherever the line the crossing lines have been intersected that intersected point will be added or the least value will get added to that intersected point and all other values will remain as it is okay so now see step number one whatever values are unmarked okay subtract the least value from it okay subtract the least value from it so let us do that Chalo. see uh, in your second row 2 uh, is unmarked so 2 minus the least value 1 will give you 1 5 minus 1 gives you 4 below that 4 minus 1 will give you 3 1 minus 1 gives you 0 then in j4 okay we have 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 and 1 minus 1 will give you 0 again 1 minus 1 gives you 0 3 minus 1 will give you 2 okay that's step number one second step wherever the points have been intersected where the lines have been intersected that particular point will get added with the least value so in our case uh, number four intersection point number three intersection number three intersection those three points of intersection will get added with our least value so four minus one is five three minus one is four and another three minus one uh, three plus one will become four done after that whatever other values have been you know are, are marked out will remain as it is okay so we'll just note down all others as it is so we have two zero two four we have here zero zero again here we'll have four zero five zero and here we have zero two zero and five okay so with that we have completed our new modified matrix now again we need to follow the same step that is to assign the zeros from the row point of view okay so chalo, let us start assigning in the first row there is only one zero we assign that zero the moment we assign that all other values on the co uh, corresponding column all other zero will get crossed out so we crossed it out okay in the second row there are two zeros so we can't do anything we go ahead in third again there are multiple zeros can't do anything go ahead in the fourth row there is only one zero the one has been already crossed out, so there's only one available zero so that is a assign the moment we assign that corresponding column may whichever zeros are there we cross it out in the fifth again there are two can't do anything so the all the row wise have been done so now we start with the column wise in the first column there's only one zero we mark it out that assign the moment I assign the column, all other values in the row gets crossed out, which has zeros. In the second row, I mean in the second column, one has been assigned, others have been cut out, it's done. In the third, there are two zeros, I can't do anything, we shift ahead. In the fourth column, there's only one. So we assign that, the moment we assign that, all other values in the row get crossed out. Now whatever is remaining is under the second row, 
which only one zero we assign that value also okay so all the zeros has been assigned so now let us check the number of assigned values so here the assigned value is one two three four five there are five and the matrix size is also five therefore here we have got the solution there so the solution is optimal so here we have made an optimal solution so finally we can say that therefore the optimal assignment is now let us check for machine 1 the optimal assignment of job was j2 the value for which is m1 j2 is 10 for machine 2 the job which has been selected was j3 so m2 ke liye j3 is the value is 12 for m3 it was j4 so m3 ke liye j4 is 11 so we take the value as 11 for m4 the value was j5 which is 10 and lastly for m5 the value was j1 which is 9 the total of which comes to 52 okay so our final answer therefore the total minimum cost is equal to rupees 52 so with that you know we were able to solve another advanced sum under uh, minimization problem okay i hope everyone have understood this same for a format we have to follow we need to first find row minimization column mark the assigned values if they do not match mark the linings okay use the formulas whereby we take the least value subtract from unsigned okay leave the sign and wherever it's getting intersected add that the lowest value again you know try assigning them if they match it is if it is an optimal solution it will match and then we need to get the final values okay so this was question number four or the fourth sum under the our uh, web series or under our video series of assignment model okay there are many more videos which are going are lined up and will be uploaded soon containing different types okay so we are still on minimization where we did with simple and now we have, we have started off with the advanced problem there are few more advanced sum that we will be taking up and thereafter we will be going ahead with maximization problem and all the problem based on special categories so i hope everyone uh, will you know view those videos also so that this particular topic gets thoroughly registered in your brain so with that we will be ending this video here i hope everyone has understood it thank you